In this tutorial of iDraw for the iPad, I'm going to be discussing how you can play with the outline of any shape. I'm going to go ahead and create a circle to begin with. And I'm going to select that circle. On the bottom left hand side of your tools, you have several options for color for the stroke, which is the outside, and for the fill. I'm going to go ahead and pick a color for the interior right now, or the fill. I'm going to make this circle a little bit bigger so that we're able to see it much better. Okay, first thing that I'm going to show you is how you can change the thickness of any outline. Click on the letter I on the top right. That is your appearance menu. If you click on appearance, you will see that there is a choice called stroke. When you change that number to a higher number, the thickness of your outline will become thicker and vice versa. The other thing that you are able to change is the color of your stroke from two different places. You are able to change the color of your stroke under your tools by clicking on this black outline. So for example, I can make my circle have any color outline that I want. Um, another place where you can change the outline color is under the letter I. There is this donut right here and I'm also able to change it from there. Um, aside from the thickness, you're also able to change the type of brush that creates your outline. When I go to the letter I and I click on brush, I get this menu. This menu allows me to change the type of brush that is being used to create my outline. There are several brush kinds and as you can see my outline right now, my stroke, goes from thick to thin and then to back to thick. Depending on which brush I pick, that outline is going to completely change. I'm also able to change the brush all together by dragging my finger along the edges of the circle. For example, if I want a brush that appears very thin on the left side or very thick, I can rotate it by dragging my finger along. Down at the bottom, I can also use these plus and minus signs to change the thickness or the thinness of my brush, the angle, the diameter, and so on or I can simply use these presets. Aside from the type of brush, I also have the option to add arrows if it's a, a single line. I can also make my outline into dashes. I'm going to click on dash. And again, you can change the color and so on and so forth. This concludes a tutorial on how to change the thickness of your line as well as the color and the brush type.